March 27th. It will feature a full marathon, half, relay teams, 5K, plus the kids run, and there is still time to train. Now on Saturday, runners will take part in the Strawberry Plains Half Marathon and 10K. David Black is the executive director of the Knoxville Track Club and joins us now with a preview of this race. You all have been hosting this race for some time now. It is a favorite. Tell us more about it. You know, it really is. This race has been around since the late 80s. It's the only race we have that our course actually hasn't changed in all that time period. It's out in the Straw Plains community, and which is just a beautiful part of uh, Knox County. It runs a little bit into Jefferson County up along the Holston River. Great views, just a, a great tradition leading up to the Knoxville Marathon. And speaking of the, the Knoxville Marathon, uh, as we look at video of runners getting warmed up, let's talk about some training opportunities for people in our community. Yeah, you know, so so there's a couple of things that you want to remember when it's winter time, especially. Um, you know, we've got group runs going on and all those things, which are fantastic. It helps you get out there and get motivated. But you know, you guys have to think in terms of what's the temperature outside, and, and in your mind, you have to act like it's 20 degrees warmer than it is. Um, you still need to stay hydrated because you're going to sweat and you're going to water's going to evaporate. You want to keep your hands and your head covered, you know, to make sure that you don't lose too much heat there. But also, most importantly, maybe dress in layers because mm -hmm. if you start to you start to warm up along your run or your walk, then you may need to take your take one of your layers off, you know, and that way you can t stash it, wrap it around your race or whatever you need to do. And running in the, the cold weather, if you're not used to it, it can be an adjustment. So should you start with your your small mileage and kind of build up? Absolutely, and a, another good thing to do is to kind of warm your body up first when it's, you know, right now we're, I'm on the weather porch here and we're in the low 50s, so that's good. But, you know, on those days when it's 20 degrees, either do a little warm up inside or go outside with extra layers on and start walking first to kind of warm your muscles up. You don't want to just go taking off too fast, too fast in, in the cold like that. It could be, it could be dangerous for you. All right, as we mentioned, the 2022 Strawberry Plains Half Marathon and 10K, a tr great run and a great training run, too, for the Knoxville Marathon. It's going to be Saturday, January 29th, 8 a.m. And uh, remind us where it's located. It starts at the Restaurant School over in the, uh, car the, the Strawberry Plains Carter community. Um, great location there. All the finishers will receive a custom medal this year, which is shaped like the state of Tennessee. So that's going to be a really special event there. And register beforehand? Yeah, register beforehand. Um, then go to ktc.org, find out all the information there. All right, David, thanks so much for coming on. All right, it's going to be a great it. one. Appreciate okay. it.